Howdy guys, Halo 3 Amateur here, welcome back for more Super Mario RPG Legend of Seven Stars. Sorry if I sound a little tired, that's because I am. It is 1.32 a.m. And I'm pretty worn out actually, so uh, yeah. But I digress. How are you guys doing today? I am doing fantastic. Uh, even though I'm, you know, tired. But uh, I digress. Once more, once more. Um, these things cannot be activated unless you pay. I think it was 50 coins. Yeah, it's 50 coins to activate these things, and you get a different fortune every time you. Uh, uh, well, if you put in different combinations, I think. But uh. Since I did it right, I can move on. I think it's you know, just different every time you do that, but you don't have to. I don't know what I'm talking about. <sighs> but I digress. Uh, what I'm doing here is I was looking for a secret. Uh, didn't really need to. Trying to get my mic, I mean, not my mic, but my uh, headphones in the right place so I can hear the music better. Uh, but yeah, if you uh, jump on top of that box right back there, you get a frog coin like you saw. Uh, I'm trying to jump on top of this box, and yeah, there's nothing in that. But there's a frog coin right there in that box that was in plain sight. That's always good. Ah, uh, goodness. Okay, this one will say different things every time. If you get the one of, I'm so hungry, I could eat anything, basically, you're going to have to fight Balom again. But, uh, you know, he's just as easy as he was last time. He has a little more health than last time, but, uh, this time, <sighs> this time we have three people in our party. Right here, I'm checking uh, checking my FP, making sure I don't, you know, have to refill on anything. And it turns out I don't. I'm fully healed, and well, I should have known that after grabbing that mushroom. But whatever. Here we have Balom again. So first thing I'm going to do is use Geno Boost on Mario, since Mario is basically my strongest character right now. Uh. Oh god. I shouldn't be doing this when I'm tired, but. Oh well. Uh, yeah, this is what Bloom does in this battle. He makes clones of different party members. This time, he made a clone of Bowser. This is all in post commentary, so excuse me for being tired. I wanted to get rid of uh, these old clips on my computer, so. Yeah. Thought I'd go with uh, Mario RPG because there's like three. This is like three clips in the one. So, yeah. I don't know. Ooh, well that was Geno Blast. That was awesome. All right, all Bowser has is poison gas and terrorize, so he doesn't really have anything that can help us out in this battle. So I'm just going normal attack with everybody. Alrighty, how does Mario taste? Yeah, Mario sour. Nice. Love sour stuff, but uh, I think I'm not quite sure on this. But uh, I think the clones have exact health of what uh, the character has. So see here, Mario has 113 health, and we just did 108. That means one more attack should kill him. You know. 
don't, I can't really tell, because, well, I can't really tell how much health he had, but, uh, I digress. Moving on. Bloom is, uh, pretty much dead right now. He's got, like, one, two hits left. Yeah. He's a goner. After Mario's attack I get, yeah. Goodbye, boys and girls. Says Bloom before he dies. Oh, the odd thing to say before you die. Goodbye, girls and boys, boys and girls, whatever he said. Again, I'm extremely tired. <sighs> uh, I was able to uh, upload the final Contra part today. That's because I went over to uh, McDonald's and used their Wi-Fi. Okay, this door right here, it's sealed. We can't get into it right now. We, uh... We actually have a special item that lets us get in there, but uh, we're not going to use it just yet. If we'll keep talking to this swamp, we can get this key that's up there, you see? But before I do that, I'm going to go save. <sighs> Tiredness. Okay. I will show what's in that door in this episode, though, so, uh, yeah. I know I'm not prepared for it, the only way I would be prepared for it is if I was a higher level. I don't really have that good of levels right now. I think the max level in this game is something like 30 or something. But anyway. The key we just got, the temple key. We need to take it back into, uh, underground town place. Where we fought Bloom, and once we do that, we can find a, like, statue version of Bloom that wants to eat, wants to eat, uh, that key. And if he eats that key, he'll go away. I anyway, could get the treasures in his room. But, uh, the Scoomba. The Scoomba sells things for Bowser. And Bowser has a new weapon and a new defense item. So what we're going to do is give Bowser both the Curd Shell and the Spiked Link. The Spiked Link is Bowser's most powerful weapon until later. I mean... He'll have a pretty good weapon that's like better than the Harley gloves, so <laughs> it's pretty awesome. It's like it's like a ball and chain, kind of like the uh, Thwomp was, or not Thwomp, but the uh, Chain Chomp was. But uh, this one has spikes on it. It's awesome. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and sell these. Yeah. I'll go sell the bathtub ring. I don't really need it for anything. I mean, it's for, like, this really stupid kind of secret. I don't know. Just look it up on YouTube or something. I don't know. Just, uh, I'm not going to sell my right essence. I'm going to need it for this boss fight coming up. That's why I saved it instead of sold it. Because, uh, like I said before, Red Essence makes you invincible. Uh, we'll have a chance to get more later, but, uh, I never introduced what this town was called. This is Monstro Town. Oh, wow. Okay. Now it's time to show you what's behind that special door. I'm gonna walk there because I'm so freaking afraid of fighting this guy. Yes, there's a boss behind this door. It seems to be sealed. Look, shiny stone. Yes, the shiny stone that that little mole girl had was the key to getting in this door. Whoa, this place is trippy. What the hell?
Greetings. I am Culix, Dark Knight of Vada. Um, you uh, Final Fantasy buffs out there. Uh, is there actually a boss named Culix in the Final Fantasy universe? Because I don't remember. But uh, I digress. Yes, Final Fantasy. It's fun. There's Final Fantasy music here. This is from. I'm not sure. I think Final Fantasy IV. I don't remember. But, uh, right, right here. I <laughs> I'm facing this boss way too early. This is not a required boss. Okay, showing off Bowser's chain link. It does pretty good damage, but uh, these things here, they uh, <laughs> they have a lot of health. I don't remember which one's the weakest right off. I'm going to come back in here later. I, I don't know. Gosh. I'll go, go. I'm going to come back in here another time with uh, Mallow and scan everyone's health. I'm going to make Mallow invincible. Yes, I know that's kind of a waste, but uh, I digress. See, I'm invincible. Nothing can hurt me when I, whenever I have red heads in the song. Zero or miss. The only thing, the only problem I have is both Gino and Bowser both died already. That's because they wasn't invincible. If they were invincible, it'd be okay. So right now I'm going to bring Gino back to life because he has more health. Once Gino's back, I pray to God that he stays in. Or stays alive. A mega drain. Not good for Gino. 121. He's not dead. But he's pretty damn close. Okay, Shredder does nothing. Well, it, well, it does something, but it does nothing to hurt you. What it does is make your stats back to normal. So, say if Mario was powered up with Gino Boost, yeah, <laughs> he just lost that attack up and defense up stat. Okay, now Mario and Gino both are invincible for this turn. Uh, it keeps you invincible for three turns, so I'm glad I get to show off the full effect. Mario will be vulnerable next turn, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, after this go-around, they'll be invincible again. Or Mario will be, at least. Yeah, special attacks don't will not work on the uh, yellow gym. Well, at least jumping attacks don't work on them. Okay. Yeah, this go around's almost over, so Mario's going to be vulnerable again. That's not good. Yep, see? Mario's vulnerable. Okay, well, never mind. No, he's not. What we're going to do is Geno Blast. Because that attacks all enemies, and that's really good for us. <laughs> uh, I don't suggest coming into this area until you're at least level 20 or 25, I mean. There we go, Mario's vulnerable again. Geno's still invulnerable for two, uh, one to two turns. Yeah, Mario can take a hit, though. Because he just took 30 damage, and uh, 23, then uh 62, that 62 killed him though. Alright, it's all up to Gino, but I'm not going to bring anyone back to life because, well, <sighs> I'm under level, like I said. If I brought anyone back, they would just die instantly. Since I'm out of red essences, I don't see the point in bringing Mario back. I mean, maybe if I had an extra turn with uh, everybody, 
and bring both Mario and Bowser back, and then use a Cure Cure Cola to heal our yeah, FP and our HP all at the same time. And then, if I had a few more red essences, I would make everybody invincible and continue this battle. But, uh, this is the last Geno Blast you're gonna see. Uh, in this episode, anyway. <laughs> okay, I think. Yeah. Yeah, oh. Oh, that power down music. Oh, man, that's awful. But, uh, yeah. You... <laughs> you want to be a higher level before you go in there. And this place right here I'm standing in front of, it's a dojo. We will be looking at that next episode. But uh, as you see, this door sealed again. All we have to do is just push A on it, and then, you know, voila, we can walk in anytime we want. But uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to run in circles and go back into the little... Underground place, McGee, Mabobber, thing, Majig, downtown, New Mexico, New Jersey town, USA. <laughs> go back up here and then get another fortune. Uh, if it's different, if it's oh good, we got the one we needed right off. It's the second time that's happened. If you get the wrong fortune, you can just leave the room and then come back, but hey look, it's a gold version of a loom. Give him the key. So we can get treasure. We get one max mushroom, a royal syrup, what a royal syrup does is it heals 99 FP at once. That's something. We got a bunch of frog coins down here, and we got a fire bomb. Awesome. I'll show that off in another battle next time. But, uh, alright, let's go ahead and leave this place and go back up and get another fortune. If it's the same one, you know, just leave the room. And just this case, yeah. Just leave the room, come back, hit the thing again. Uh, it's the same one, okay. Alright. If it says, man, I wish I had something to eat, that is the one you want to go back down on, because that's when you have you fought below. Again. <laughs> Alright, back to Monstro Town. Away we go. Oh, man. Hells yeah. Okay. Real quick, I'm going to save. Okay. Well, guys, uh, that about does it for this episode, actually. So, next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG, I'm going to go take on Culex again with uh, Gino, or not Gino, but Mallow and the party with the Red Essence. Later, folks.